Today we're going to learn how to install an extra stepper in the Z axis. Right now on the MKS Gen L board, there's only one port for a NEMA 17 stepper. Now over here we have four pins. These fin pins are actually called external driver pins. So we have to hook up something that will give us an external stepper. So let me review the pins for you real quick here. We have our navel pin. We have our step pin. We have our dir pin. And then we have a ground pin here. Over here we have power for our external 12 volts. So we have our positive and then we have our negative. Then what we have down here is our 5 volt pin and our ground pin. And then as you can see I'll describe this in a moment in further detail and I'll also describe briefly how to connect the stepper driver board to the external stepper board and then this I've shown in previous videos the process to line it up so I'll skip that portion so in a moment I'll show you how to do it this is our external stepper board as you can see we're looking for the enable pin to connect our stepper driver board it's located right here we have our MS pins or micro step pins they're all set to on as you can see and then over here we have our enable pin which is E then we have our D pin which is direction then we have our S which is step as you can see over here we have what says is a 9 volt pin but according to their website it goes much higher we have our ground pin, then we have another ground pin, and then our 5 volt pin. And then finally, we have our connection for our NEMA 17 stepper driver motor over here. So in a moment, I'll show you the stepper and what we're looking for, and then we'll go from there. Okay, this is the underside of the stepper driver board. And as you can see, there's a pin called Enable right here. This is the pin that we need to line up. So in a moment, I'll connect that to the board for you, and then we'll go from there. Okay, to connect this, all we need to do is line up our Enable pin to the board where the Enable pin I showed you previously. Apply a little bit of thumb pressure to push it down. And there you go. In a moment, I'll show you how to wire it to the MKS Gen L board. Okay, now to connect, what we're going to do is run through this kind of quick. We're going to start with the red wire with the male end. It's going to connect to the port that says 9 volts when it actually can go much higher. Then it's going to go to the positive end on the MKS Gen L board. Then we're going to do the ground pin for the 12 volt connector on the MKS as well. And we're going to put that in the ground for the other side of the 12 volt auxiliary. Next we're going to connect the gray pin or wire with the ground pin on the stepper extender board and then we're going to connect that to the ground pin on the MKS board. Next we're going to connect the 5 volt pin and we're going to connect that to the 5 volt pin on the board I'll reseat this again. Next, we're going to connect the enable pin on the stepper extender board, and we need to connect this to the enable pin for the Z axis. Then we're going to connect the step pin last, but we're going to do direction next. 
So this is the direction pin. And we're going to connect that to the direction pin for the axis. And finally the step pin. And that's going to go to the step pin on the board. Okay, and in a moment, I'm going to hook up the USB cable and show you how to program it. Okay, we have our USB cable. What we're gonna do is connect the big side to the board and the small side to the computer. Now keep in mind, you don't wanna to touch the board while it's energized. So if there's electricity running through it like a blinking light, do not touch it. In a second, I'll show you how to program the Marlin firmware. Okay, we're in the Marlin folder for 1.1.8. We're gonna to go to the Marlin subfolder. We're gonna hit M on the keyboard. We're gonna scroll down to marlin.ino and open that up. We're gonna to go to the configuration.h tab. We're gonna search on default underscore access underscore steps underscore per underscore unit. We're then going to take a look at this real quick. Now these are the current default steps. It's 80 for X, 80 for Y, 4,000 for Z, and 500 for the first external stepper. So at the moment, if you need a more precise calculation, you should go to the RepRap calculator and calculate your configuration to find out what your X, Y, Z, and possibly E steps are. But for the moment, all we're gonna do is load the firmware. So let's make sure we have a port selected, which we do. And the board that we're going to use is the Arduino Mega. Now keep in mind this is the exact same architecture as the Ramps 1.4. So we're going to use that. So I'm going to hit Compile and Upload. And okay, since we've finished programming the Marlin software, I disconnected the USB from the computer and now I'm disconnecting it for the moment from the uh, MKS Gen L board. Now I'm gonna show you how to make connections here for the end stop for the Z min. So we're gonna do the red to the ground port. I'm gonna do the black to the signal pin. Now next I'm gonna connect the motor for the external stepper. Normally this would be a lot neater, but because we're working with this in such a small space to show you it, it's gonna seem a little messy. Then we're gonna connect the motor for the normal default Z axis on the board. Next, we're gonna connect the power, which I'll show you in a separate video in the future. And then we're also gonna connect the USB cable now that everything is connected. So we're gonna do the big end for the USB over here. And then on the computer, we're going to connect to the USB port. And in a moment, I'll show you how to actually test the configuration. Okay, we're in the Pronterface folder. We're gonna open Pronterface. We're gonna click connect to the board. Now in order to set up the Z axis, we're gonna home it. So I'm gonna make a fake home, in which case I'm going to press the Z and then press the end stop to make it think it's at home. So watch as they do it. Okay, now that it's homed, I'm going to show you how to go up 10. So I'm going to press the up 10 in Proner face for the Z axis.
Now if you want to go down 10, you can do this. So if you like my video, please press the like button and subscribe and thank you for your time.